All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR, and in this video, I'm gonna give you my impressions of Destruction All Stars. So, Destruction All Stars is a multiplayer vehicular combat game that is developed by Lucid Games, and most of us uh, remember that this game started out as a seventy dollar uh, PlayStation Five launch title, launch day or launch window title, and it was delayed to February 2nd, 2021, today, uh, and they changed it to be free for PlayStation Plus. And I believe that was the right decision. Um, because even when I first seen the game, this didn't look like a game that should be $70, and now that I've played it, you know, that confirms my thoughts. So let me get uh, further into the game, explain some of the straightforward and the basic uh, mechanics and the concept of this game. So as I said, it's a vehicular combat game. There's 16 characters with unique abilities. There's four game modes, Mayhem, Gridfall, Carnado, and Stockpile. And there's uh, three different types of cars uh, right off the bat that you can get into when you uh, start any of these modes, small, medium, and large. And the size of the car determines their durability and their maneuverability, right? I'm not sure how many maps are in the game. So let's first start out when you're in the car because I, I do like the concept that this is one of the few games, uh, vehicular combat games, where you can actually get out of the car and run around. So I will say that mechanic actually, you know, really interested me, made me interested in the game when I first saw it because I can't think of any other game that did that and give you that freedom. So when you're in the car, the obvious objective in most of these modes is to crash into other cars and cause destruction, right? Uh, you have your forward slam ability and your sideways, your sideways slam uh, to crash into other cars and cause damage. While you're in the car, uh, you can also eject to get out of the, to get out of your car uh, when it starts to take too much damage. As you perform different maneuvers like evading cars and crashing into other cars to cause damage, your bar to get your character's special unique car uh, starts to fill up and then you could pretty much summon uh, your car on screen and your car's special ability is pretty much the same ability that your character has on foot right so on foot your character has a melee attack uh, it has a special ability as i mentioned you can wall run so there's some parkour in there you can evade other people's cars and hijack them by hitting the button prompts um, that appear on the screen faster than they do. If you fail to press the uh, the, um, the button prompts faster than they do, then you'll just pretty much just be uh, kicked from their car. Um, and if you press the button prompts faster than they do, then you'll be given the, uh, the option to either take their car and wreck their car. Collecting crystals, which are placed all over the map, uh, you can do that by wall running and you know using the different maneuver maneuvers doing that also fills up your bar to get your uh, special unique car as i said that that has the same ability as your character on foot so that's pretty much the mechanics and the basics of the game that's kind of the uh you know the gameplay cycle now the game looks great right the game looks visually impressive it looks vibrant and it looks sharp uh, it has nice detail. You know, it has this fun uh, atmosphere and fun looking in environment, right? But to me, the game isn't actually that fun. Let me tell you, I guess, my gripes and my issues with it and why it's just not very, very enjoyable for me. So the, you could say the, the core concept of, of this game is to cause damage by crashing into other people's cars. I don't find that fun in this game. It doesn't feel satisfying and rewarding in this game. I'm not saying that crashing into cars isn't fun in general. I'm saying in this game specifically, I, does, I do not feel a level of satisfaction when I do it. There's other games that I've, vehicular combat games that I've played that when I do it, it felt satisfying, it felt fun, it felt re rewarding. In this game to me, it just doesn't feel like anything. I don't get any gratification from doing it. And that's kind of like the core concept of this game. So if you don't enjoy that, you're not really going to enjoy the game. The next thing is I actually had more fun of on foot 
evading other people's cars and hijacking other people's cars than I had actually driving and crashing into other people's cars. I think that's the most fun part of the game is actually taking, uh, hijacking other people's cars and wrecking them. To me, that's the best part. So I think this game is more fun in theory and in concept than in actual execution. And I don't think this game has like the skill gap that a game like Rocket League has, for example. And the, I think cars, because as I said previously, there are cars that have uh, different durability. Obviously, from small to medium, small to large, um, you know, that's that's how the durability goes. The small the small cars has the ha, have the least amount of durability. The large cars has no, have have the most. Um, but I feel in general, the you know the durability of the cars uh, is kind of too low. The HP is kind of too low um, because it's like. It, you you as soon as you crash into it feels like as soon as you crash into one or two cars and then you get hit like maybe one time the car is completely destroyed and then you got to get out that's what it feels like to me i'm not saying these things have to be way more durable but i think giving them a little bit more hp might be the move also i feel like they could have done more with the on foot combat in the game pretty much your melee is this one hit attack that has a like maybe like a, a five second cooldown after you use it and i guess they didn't want it to be this whole con this whole scenario where characters on foot were just fighting in the middle of the arena which i don't see a problem with i think that could actually be cool if people were just going at it in the middle of the the arena but it's this one hit attack that has uh a five second cooldown and it has a delay to it. It has like a two second delay from when you press the button. So if someone's in front of you, and mind you, this game is moving pretty fast. So if someone's in front of you and you actually want to hit them, you have to compensate for the two seconds it it, it, it takes for the attack to actually come out. So it's kind of stupid. I'm like, why is this delay kind of there? And two seconds doesn't sound a lot, but when you actually play it, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's like, why is this delay even here? Uh, also, you know, I like the cus how you can customize the UI and they tried to make the UI uh, as minimal as possible. And you can customize that in the options and everything like that. I like all the settings and the options to custom customize the game how you want it. But uh, in conclusion, um, yeah, I just don't really like this game. I'm, I don't, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I don't think it's great. I think the developers in that state of play, I think they did a really good job making this game look much better than it is, look a lot more fun than it is. The game is very like straightforward and, and, and simple in, in its concept. And, you know, it, it could be one of those games that I don't think this is this game is going to be extremely popular. I don't think it's going to take off like other games that have that have been uh, free uh, at launch in PlayStation Plus. I think it'll it'll have a continued uh, fan base of people who play it, but I don't think it's going to be very large. I don't think this game is going to have very long legs and keep a large um, player base for very long. I think people will play this for a few days and and probably put it down because I just don't feel like it has something to keep players coming back, right? It's kind of like this this fleeting fun um that you you get from a few games and it you know you want to turn it off. I don't think it's addicting in any way. I don't think there's anything like you're really it doesn't feel like it's giving you enough to work to work towards uh, to keep playing it, right? That, I just don't think there's any valid reason to keep going. Um, and they have said that they plan to continue to support this game with more content and everything like that. So kudos to them. Uh, and I'm not saying that there won't be people that find this fun. I think there's going to be people that definitely find that enjoy this game and find it fun. It's it's just not me. It's not going to be me. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much my opinion on it. It's just a, an okay average game. I don't think it does anything amazing. I don't think it's standout. Uh, it's just average at best. Um, it's honestly kind of mid. You know, if we if we keeping it real. 
Uh, you know, and people are going to say, oh, BG doesn't like anything. BG's just the red shirt guy. Hey, man, I keep it real. It doesn't matter what game it is, what it's on. I tell y'all how I feel. I'm just telling you how I feel. The game is free. You try it out. You tell me how you feel based on, you know, uh, your experience. I'm just telling you I don't like it and the reasons why. So, yeah, I've, uh, needless to say, the game is already uninstalled and... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty much done with it. That's that's I've I've played all I need to play to know how I feel about it. So, yeah, it's pretty much on to the next game waiting for the next game uh, for me. All right. So th those are my impressions on the game. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Hit the notification bell below the video uh, so you can know anytime I upload or live stream, even though I probably won't be live streaming anytime soon because, you know, Optimum sucks. Um, follow me on Twitter. And uh, yeah, hit the join button if you want to become a member of the channel and support it. Also, check out the Weapon World Patreon. All right. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.